Well, welcome to the Post Sunday app. My name is Ben Davidson. This is Daniel Bennett, and we're grateful for you joining us for this video where we talk about the sermon Post Sunday and the applications that come from it. So yeah. it was that great getting up morning. Yeah. Easter Sunday. Yeah. What, so, is that an expression? Yes. That great getting up morning. That, that's the expression I've heard for Easter, that it's that great getting up morning because I, he is I think risen. I just, uh, okay. Is yeah. that a song or? Uh, I think it's just a, you know, colloquialism. I think I heard someone yeah. else say that yesterday. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. I said it yesterday. Oh. From the stage. Oh, that's for <laughs> Are you sure it's a real expression or maybe it's just something you said? It's just a Ben Davidsonism? Is it? I don't know. I'm going to look it up yeah. now. Okay. okay. Well, it is It is a great get. It was. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And still is. Yeah. Anyway, well, now that I've been corrected there, I no, I, I'm not. So. I, it could be something. Yeah, <laughs> it could be something. I mean, I don't think it should be, but I think it could be. Wow. Well, it was a great Sunday. Sorry. Uh, Easter Sunday. Yeah. Lots of folks came. Yeah. Uh, two sweet young people baptized uh, uh, yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Um, yeah. The sermon. I tell you, I, we were talking before we start started this this uh, uh, post Sunday app. That you talked about, if we know Jesus as Savior, um, the cross is our model for discipleship, and the resurrection is our hope in discipleship. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, kind of starting this on Friday night yeah. with Good Friday service yeah. and coming through. And uh, there's a statement you said at the end. You, you said something about um, maybe you're getting a little lackadaisical or yeah. lazy. Lazy from the word you use, but loose and uh, how you're... I think I said sloppy. Sloppy. Kind of weird, okay. I mean, that's a weird word to use. It resonated with me because the next thing you said was, you know, will, will we recommit ourselves to the terms of discipleship? Yeah. And yeah. I just found myself sitting there going, yes. Mm, you know, God. when you're exposed to the scripture, when you're exposed to the cross mm -hmm. and his resurrection, you say, send I mean, me, send yeah, me, yeah. you know, right? So that was really good. Good. Appreciate that. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I mean, those are powerful words. Yeah. It's a powerful passage. Yeah, for sure. So um, we said we might keep this a little bit shorter Short, Shorter today. today. Yeah. So do you want to go on to some What's of the, the other What's the Monday things? after Easter called? I saw this on my calendar. Easter Monday. Easter Monday, yeah. So it's Easter Monday. Yes. I don't know if I'm familiar with that term right. in the past. I don't know. Like that great getting up morning. <laughs> I don't know if it's the same thing, but my <sighs> Outlook calendar said it's Easter Monday. Okay. Um, but we have a lot of stuff going on. We do coming coming up here. Some yeah. exciting things going on. Maybe we can try yeah, to do them. Bittersweet and good. And yeah, yeah. Maybe we try to do them in uh, order of how they happen. Okay. Um, so this next Sunday is April sixteenth. Yes. And after our service, we'll be having kind of retirement reception for Kent Cloder. Mm -hmm. uh, Kent and Janelle will be in, in uh, room one hundred and one B, and people can go in there. We encourage people to bring a card and you will mm -hmm. write a little note in there. Yeah. Say thanks for everything. Um, so that, yeah, bittersweet. Yeah, I mean, just so many people love Kent and Janelle, and I, I think it's hard for people to, for all of us, you know, pick, to picture what is uh, what does Bethany Community Church look like without mm -hmm. uh, Kent as the counseling pastor. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's, uh, for sure. You know, that's that's the nature of life and ministry. Uh, just you know, think about that a lot lately. How um, you know, over fifteen years of ministry, think, things just constantly change, and there's constant, yeah. but some of the changes is a little more scary than other changes. Yeah. 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 And continuing with that bittersweet tone. Yeah. Uh, the next Sunday, Sunday evening, after our Sunday evening service, which we'll talk about in a minute, um, we'll be having a, re a, re a retirement of eldership uh, gathering for Kevin Martin. Yeah. And so, you know, Kent and I have been working for together for 15 years and Kevin and I have been ministering together for over 20 years. And yeah. Kevin's been a uh, shepherd in a church at Bethany shepherding at Bethany Church for 32 years, I think, or mm -hmm. th I think around there. So it's just like, yeah. that's a big, yeah. that's a big chunk of time. I was 21 years old when I set foot into Kevin Martin's Sunday school class okay. at yeah. Bethany Baptist really? Church as the young married mm -hmm. class. And now I'm 47, Yeah, you know, so his influence has spanned that year, that many wow. years yeah. for me. So, uh, but yeah, same um, kind of uh, idea that we'll have a place to put cards and Right, note of encouragement to Kevin and Sarah, and uh, that'll be out in the lobby after the, the Sunday evening service, which Sunday evening is also our quarterly gathering. So a lot will be going on, going on that night. We'll be uh, giving a budget, uh, the budget to be voted on, mm -hmm. and then also uh, a couple of, of staff positions. Yeah. An internship for Jake Valencic and a church replant pastor role for uh, Jordan Embry. Mm -hmm. So... Mm -hmm. 
um, that'll be a pretty eventful night for us as well. Um, lastly, we'll just mention uh, Church Center. Yes. Great app that we're using. Um, my care group has been using it. Um, a great app we've been using. We're going to be um, trying to put an emphasis starting on April 23rd, that Sunday morning, and the following few Sundays of trying to just make sure everybody knows what it is, is on board with it, and we'll have some people in the lobby where if you walk up to them with your phone, they will help, help you, you get, it. get it on there, get a picture of you for the directory, yeah. all those good things. That's going to be so helpful. So I, I would just really encourage everybody to to utilize Church Center. Mm. Um, it's you know It's primarily for members, you know, so... Also, want to encourage church membership for those who are beginning to attend our sure. church, and um, yeah. But just people will often ask me, and I know they ask you way more than they ask me. I, I get it a lot. You get it constantly. Hey, can you give me so and so's email address or someone's phone number or who is who is this person? And well, we had we had a situation here in this very room less than an hour ago. We were talking about someone in the church, and someone else on staff didn't know who that person was. And if we had, if we kept that church directory mm. up to date and, and more populated, I think that would be very helpful mm. for, for just the cohesiveness. There's a lot of new people in the church right now. Yeah. I, I introduced myself to someone yesterday that's been going to the church for uh, a couple weeks at least. Mm. So it's, it's just, um, yeah, it, that, that's, that's hard. Yeah. But, but, but as we kind of gel together here, we want to, we're going to become, a, we're going to be a, a different church over the next six months. That's great. Again, change is constant, but we want to mm-hmm. make sure we can can do the things that a church is supposed to do. And of course, most foundationally to that, we need to uh, glorify God as we as we as we proclaim the gospel and uh, prepare one another to to worship Him forever. And, and part of that preparation process is 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 knowing one another and caring for one another, shepherding one another. Mm-hmm. So yeah. yeah, so church center is a great way for us to that's a tool for key. that. Yeah. Just as important as saying good morning, shaking someone's hand. It is, My yeah, that's ben. exactly right. And yeah. we really encourage people to do that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's for it. sure. So, all right. Well, thanks, Daniel. Yeah, thanks, Ben. Thanks for joining us on the Post Sunday app. Have a great rest of your day.